2.0. Welcome back. Welcome back. I just uh, got done got get gotten froze by the fairy. Who's that a was bitch. Um, now I'm gonna go to Zora's fountain or something. Oh. Can't, what the ca fuck? can't catch me. I'm <laughs> outside. How about that? You can't catch this. You're gonna catch these hands. You're gonna catch these nuts. In your mouth. Nut, nut. Those nuts. Those. Those two specific nuts. Uh. I'm getting into that kind of, uh like tense frantic mode again right because I, I just i want this to be done now there's too many places for these last three things i need to be right i really don't want to have to deal with any more big dungeons right that's uh, understandable <sighs> so you know just take it easy it's gonna be nice and chill and i don't have let's see i don't have any of the right combination of spiritual stones or medallions to get anything from going to the temple of time because i either need the forest fire and water uh water or the light or the the spirit and uh shadow ones i just i need i need more there's a couple things i can do in death mountain as a kid but like one of them requires oh wait i can do those things now so okay. when i go to switch to a kid i'll go do those things okay i cool. can get i can get one thing out of darinia Oh, all right. Awesome. Um, but who knows if it'll be any good. Because I literally, the two songs I need are Zelda's Lullaby and Saria's song. And those are the two child songs I have. All the right, literal perfect. only two fucking child songs I have. All right. Well, it's a good thing that we got the Zelda Lullaby, so. It's a good thing that we got the Zelda Lullaby for other reasons aside from now I can make Darunia dance and give me an item. Oh, that's right. He does do that. <laughs> So, I'm going to go handle Zora's domain. Nice. We're going to handle it. Handle it. I'm going to manhandle it. Smack it around a little bit. Choke it. Zora's Maybe just domain. A bit. It's where, the, it's where the, the bro Zoras hang out. Zora's bro-main. It's, it's that little under part in, Breath of the, in the Zora domain in Breath of the Wild. It's like that little lounge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the fucking little pools in it. Yeah, I need. You can just go steal all their shit. I need some of these things. That was something that I was never like a. I, I know it adds like a challenge, like a level of challenge to games, but like weapon maintenance. Ugh, I hate weapon maintenance. Like weapon maintenance is a scourge on this world. <laughs> I fucking hate. I fu like. Sometimes it's okay. Like in Diablo, it's fine because it's such very rarely a big factor. Right. With weapon durability, in Fire Emblem, it's fine because I don't know. It's kind of part of the game. The game gets broken when your weapons don't have durabilities on them. Okay. They just it, the game just gets broken because because then you don't have to worry about your weapons breaking. You can just use one whatever best weapon it is the whole time, and you don't have to fucking worry about the weapon breaking on you. Well, I mean, I, the, isn't that the I point don't like of it, it well, in any game? Well, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, like, some games don't do it good. Some games, like, I don't like the way they do it in Breath of the Wild because your weapons break too easily. Okay, so that was going to be, like, my follow-up. Like, like for example, like, Breath of the Wild, where, like, weapon maintenance is, like, a constant thing that you... Weapons... Can you, you can't even repair the weapons in that game. No, they just break. Yeah, they just break, and I think that's a load of garbage. Like, even the Master Sword has, like, a... Yeah, well, that, it, I, that, that I doesn't understand. break, but it has, like, a cooldown period. Yeah, and I understand that, but, like, the fact that they had to do that so you don't just use the Master Sword right. is, I don't know. Because the Master Sword's optional. You don't need it to beat the game. But I don't like having, like, I like I have all these, like, royal broadswords that are just sitting around. And I can't really, like, I don't want to use any of them because I can't remember where you find them. Right. And... That, that I don't want to deal with my sword breaking constantly. It's a pain. That was actually one of the things that I always found, like I found like bothersome is like I would I would collect I, I would find myself collecting all these items mm -hmm. and then I'd be afraid to use them. Right. 
because like I, I thought it was such a cool item, I didn't want it to break. Yeah, and they break so e- like it, it would be one thing if they lasted longer than they did, but they break so easily, and if you throw them, they just shatter. Yeah, like doesn't matter what durability they were at, they just fucking shatter. Can I talk to this guy? What's this guy say? Speaking of Breath of the Wild. Okay, that was weird. Yep. Um, King Zora, give me an item. I got bombs. Bombs. I didn't need those, but I got them. Alright. I'm gonna need my water tunic. Right. To A, re-complete my aesthetic, and B, because <laughs> I need the water tunic. Uh, Ice Cavern's gonna be a pain with only one bottle. Oh, yeah. But I don't know where any more are, and I can't get the one in the lake because I don't have the silver scale. Well, we could we could do that now, right? Get the scale? No, because it's random. Oh, fuck! Why How many I... times I gotta fucking tell you? This game is a randomizer. The locations of every major item and a few minor items in the game are totally randomized. Oh, hey, a song. If that's the song of time, I'm gonna shid pant. It's either the song of time, the fucking water one, or it's a trap. Holy song shit. Song of time. <laughs> now I can... Do even more shit. I might not need the hover boots anymore. Because with the song of time, I can now cheat. I can cheaty pants maneuver that um, that one room in the training grounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Are we Cause sinking? I can, cause, what, yeah, we're sinking. Okay, I was just trying to figure that out do you, do you need me to do, what are we sinking about the gay german the, no the uh the german coast guard <laughs> this is a german coast guard <laughs> i think it was an snl bit oh i don't know like an old snl bit now i gotta fucking swim all the way up out of here or i should be swimming this way so i can get the fairy fountain Right. So, what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, durability. Or was that conversation Weapon done? durability. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you were talking about how you found it a pain in Breath I, of the Wild or something? I do find it a pain in Breath of the Wild. Because, like, like I said, I get attached to items and then I don't want oh, them yeah. to break. Um, Is it this way, I think? There's ways that it can be done where it's, like you were saying, where it's not too bad. Like... Like, make them last longer. Uh, especially, like... Like, the whole thing that I have a problem with is that all the good weapons break real quick. Right. Like my, there's I, no, And once you get the good weapons and know where they are, there's no point in trying... To, there's no point in using any of the smaller ones. Ever. That's true. Like, I like the fact that, like... Or I didn't... I, t- I see him. There's so much about Breath of the Wild that I really liked. There is. Um, um, there's a lot about it I liked, and there's a lot about it I didn't like. Or that I didn't like how do i put this like um i don't know i don't really consider breath of the wild like a a true zelda game i think you could have slapped a new ip on it and it would have just been as fun of a game really you think Hmm. because it has so few actual zelda elements in it like what what what's in it that zelda that couldn't easily be replaced with something else oh hey the hover boots oh okay so sweet so, you okay, got Link. So... Link, and Link doesn't even look like Link anymore. He looks like Link in a t-shirt. Basically. He looks like Link if he decided to stop wearing a green tunic and decided to start wearing a t-shirt. Zelda doesn't... Bro Link. Yeah, Zelda doesn't... I mean, like, Zelda's fine, but, like, doesn't really quite give me the Zelda-like feel. Okay. So, then are you... And, like, all the other races could have easily been replaced with some equivalent race. Some, yeah, some water type, and then some other elf. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of things that don't, like, make sense. Like, they don't match up. What, like, like lore-wise? Like, lore, like, lore-wise. Like, the whole thing is that it's, oh, it's in, who knows what timeline it's in. It's like, that's... And I get that the point isn't for them to place everything perfectly in a timeline. Right. And that that was kind of done retroactively. Where the fuck am I? Uh, okay. Uh, but, like, if you're gonna implement a timeline, stick with it. Don't just abandon it as soon as you can because it's a pain to deal with. Right. I, I find that problem in comics all the time. 
that's why I hate I hate like soft reboots because it's like oh some of this still happened and some of it didn't happen. It's like all right, well which is which? Right, right, and exactly. Hard, and hard reboots are annoying because then you have to reinvent the entire character or it's just the same shit over again. And some most of the time it feels like it's the same shit over and over again. Yeah. Um. So. Are you excited for Breath of the Wild? Oh yeah, I loved Breath of the Wild. Don't get me wrong. I just there were a lot of things that it did that made it not feel like a Zelda game. And I've had arguments with people about this in the past. Okay. Um, but I just don't... Like, there's nothing that stuck out to me about that game as this is a Zelda game, except for the Zelda, like, Characters. IPs and, like, items and locations and stuff that were like, this is a Zelda game. Because, like, it's... I don't know. Like... It didn't play like a Zelda game. It didn't feel like a Zelda game. There were parts of it that felt like a Zelda game, but, you know, it's... Well, I, I thought that, um, maybe the, the, it's from something else and I can't think farther back to it, but it, some of it, like, I feel like some of it had, like, original Assassin's Creed elements to it. Like the climbing? The climbing. Like, getting to the towers. Like, rem like remember, like, in Assassin's Creed, you had to do climb to the top of the tower... Do the Eagle Vision, and then it would unlock the map. I never played Assassin's Creed. Okay. Well, in I, like... I actually, uh, I've played like 10 minutes of the first one because I got it for free. Okay. Or well, something. On Assa Xbox. I do enjoy Assassin's Creed. I, um, they're one of my favorite games. Yeah, it wasn't for me. Um, I don't like sneaking games. The only stealth games I actually like are Metal Gear Solid games. Okay. Because they don't always feel like stealth games. They feel like puzzles. In yeah. Some parts. Well, that's the cool thing about Assassin's Creed. Like, even... not They kind of abandoned it after the first one. You don't... It's not... You don't... Kind of like that. You don't feel like you're sneaking. And you don't have to sneak. Mm -hmm. Which I like. Because I'm really bad at sneaking. Yeah. I... Um, one of the things... That, the other things I have to say about the Metal Gear Solid series is that I like the games less and less as they go on. To me... Metal Gear Solid 1 is the pinnacle of what Metal Gear Solid is. Okay. After that, they start throwing in too many weapons. Um, like, the first game, the whole thing with the first game was it was on-site procurement. You get the weapons you get, you get them. You can use any of them at any time. You have a whole big inventory full of weapons you can use. Okay. And you, you will need them all for certain, you know, certain situations. And then in 3, they started abandoning that a little bit. And by, by, by the time you get to three, you basically only ever need to use your fucking Trank pistol. And even then, like, they added, like, a silencer on it, which had, like, ammo or something. Or it, it had, like, a durability on okay. it. Okay. Um, and you, fa you could find more, but, like, the only other time you needed to use not your fucking pistol was during boss fights. And even then, you could just use your fucking pistol. Like, <laughs> the only one you couldn't use it on was when you were fighting the Shagahod. And you needed to use the rocket launcher. Okay. See, so you're saying words. The Shagahod is like, it's like a fucking, it's basically like, kind of like a Metal Gear, but it's got four legs and it's not really a Metal Gear. It's a big walking tank thing. You're probably gonna, I don't know, you might know this. I've never played a Metal Gear. Oh, yeah, I didn't until recently and then I powered through the series, but didn't finish Peace Walker because I hate Peace Walker. Um, I, I hate Peace Walker. I own... Peace Walker is not fun because oh, it's well it's not fun for me because there's nothing Metal Gear about it anymore. The sneaking is minimal to non-existent. You have like a million weapons and you can only carry like a couple of them at a time. Um just general like things that I liked about the Metal Gear Solid series that they've been taking out as they went. Okay. I never play I own uh, I think they were free PlayStation downloads. So I own um Ground Zeroes and I own 5. Ground Zeroes and Five. There's two versions of Five. There's Ground Zeroes and there's um, Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain. Phantom That's Pain is Phantom Pain is the second part of Five. Okay. I own Phantom Pain because I got it for free on Xbox. Um, all the other ones I borrowed. Okay. Um, I do own Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is not really a Metal Gear Solid game. It's a like a spin-off game that's not canon to the series. Is it the DS one? No, that was the one where you play as Raiden, and it's like a an action game. Okay. Not a fucking stealth game. Oh, all right. 
It's the one where you. It's the one where you basically get into a fist fight with the a fucking senator, a jacked steroids nano machine and senator who kicks your ass. <laughs> like you literally for a little bit. I think you can't deal damage to him. He just kicks your ass. I haven't actually played the game, but I've heard quite a decent amount about okay. about it from my friends who have played the game. And I've heard it's you know it's a it's a good game. But it's not really a Metal Gear Solid game. Okay. It's it's um. It was gonna be, but then uh, Kojima decided, no, nah, I don't feel like it. He decided, no, I don't. I don't feel like. I don't feel like. Um, I don't feel like finishing this. Or, or, or it, it was. Um, what was it? I think he started working on one of the other games that well, had to abandon, like it as an official game. Oh, uh, okay. All right, I did get the right room. Cool. So, you're you, would you call yourself more of a purist when it comes to certain things? Like you like them the original way. Um, you're not really conducive to like well, when I don't they need change. That. I it depends because some changes are good, and I'm not saying that I dislike it because it changed. I'm just saying it's you can't call it the old thing until it becomes so common that the new thing is how it is. Because, like, Breath of the Wild, as it is now, is an, is an oddity. It's an outlier. But right. if that becomes the new formula, that's just how Zelda games are now. And would you be okay with that? If that's, say, mm, say if they just continued the Breath of the no, Wild format? I mean, like, I wouldn't mind if they continued it, but I don't want that to be the new Zelda formula. Okay. Because, um, I like, I like, the, I like this formula too much. I like having, like, Breath of the Wild was a fun game, don't get me wrong, and I liked what you had, all the stuff you had to do, and I liked how optional everything was, but the fact that there were no, like, real dungeons, and there was, there was, like, no character to any of the dungeons, or any of the trials, they were all just, well, that's, they looked all exactly the same. Well, that's I like, what they did, they replaced the well, dungeons yeah. with the trials, I right? like, yeah, and, and the Divine Beasts. I right. liked going to each of I like going to each of these dungeons and it's got a different theme. I like going to the forest temple and the fire temple and the whatever and they'll all have the same theme within and like within that dungeon and the whole dungeon is themed like that but in in Breath of the Wild all the dungeons have exactly the same theme and it's Jomon pottery. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. That's what the designs of Breath of the Wild's Shika Tech was based off of, was early Japanese pottery. Like, oh, okay. like, really, really, really old Japanese pottery. Like, not only the earliest pottery ever found in Japan, but the earliest pottery ever found anywhere. Is yeah. I didn't, I didn't, that Jomon, I didn't know. Jomon pottery. Look up, look, look up pictures of it, and you'll understand, like, immediately. Okay. Like, the pots, like, the Guardians just look like they upended a pot. Oh, really? And stuck legs on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that, like, J-O? J-O-M-O-N. Get this oh, yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Right? That's crazy. And... I believe the name Jomon actually means, like, rope pattern. Because of how they formed the patterns on it, they use ropes. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Yeah. All the Sheikah tech is designed off of that type of pottery. I could see that. I could absolutely see that. Especially, like, this one. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can yeah. really see it. Yeah, there. definitely. The viewers can't see that. Right. The viewers can go fuck themselves. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! This is You act like this is the first time I've said that. <laughs> I care not for our viewers. You can't say that. I'm kidding, of course. You know what? I can say that. Because at the time of recording this, <laughs> we still don't have it! Because there's no fucking videos uploaded. I'm absolutely cheating this room, by the way, with these hover boots. Oh, are you? I, yeah. I have checked out. Um. <laughs> I, yeah, it's, we're, yeah. It's getting, um, it's getting to be about that time where uh, we're kind of checking out. Um, I think after I finish this puzzle, this room, or at least part of the puzzle in this room, we'll call it for an episode. Okay. Get on the thing. 
he's not gonna do it. No, he's not. He's not gonna do he it. He's not gonna. He's do not gonna. It. And I fucked up. I fucked up. Fuck uh, other up. way. No. Kind of fucked up. You fucked up a little. No, I fucked up. Oh, you fucked up a lot. I hard fucked up. That's a hard fuck. That's a hard fuck up. All right. Well, we'll call it there then. Okay.